Welcome back to the Inspire Getting Started video series. In this video, we will take a closer look at Inspire's Polynerbs tools and use them to fine-tune the optimized bike crank design we made in the previous video. There are two basic ways to automatically create Polynerbs out of this design. The first way uses the Fit tool located in the Polynerbs ribbon, and the second uses the Fit Polynerbs button in the Shape Explorer. Begin by selecting the Fit tool in the Polynerbs ribbon. Then, click on the design space of the bike crank. Press the Apply button in the Micro dialog. Inspire will generate a smoother, more complex design that matches the shape of our optimized geometry. However, if you hide the cylindrical connectors on either end, you will notice a fairly unpolished interface between the polynerbs parts and the cylinders. Let's try out the second method to see how the results differ. Exit the polynerbs tool and right-click on the polynerbs in the construction history. Click Delete. Then, select the Show Hide icon next to Part 1 to unhide it. Double-click on the design space to bring up the Shape Explorer. Then, Click the Fit Polynerbs button. The generated polynerbs are almost identical to the first method. However, when we zoom in on the ends of the crank, we see that the interfaces between the crank and the cylinders are now much more refined. This is because the Shape Explorer's Fit Polynerbs tool automatically smooths the results and runs a Boolean intersection operation on the original design space and polynerbs to create a more ideal interface on both ends of the crank. Use the Hamburger menu in the Shape Explorer to fine-tune this operation. Now that the polynerbs have been generated, we can use the manual refinement tools to polish our design. Right-click on the polynerbs in Construction History and select Edit. Here, we can move, delete, patch, and transform the faces and edges of our polynerbs. Select a face and press the delete key to remove that face and create a hole or indent. In the micro dialog, select the patch across free edges tool to patch the hole you just created. The repair tool in the polynerbs ribbon can also find and repair holes automatically. In addition to faces, the polynerbs editing tool allows you to select and edit edges. Select an edge and press the delete key. Then, select the split polynerbs faces tool under the split icon. Select one point on two different edges of a face to split the face in two. While in the polynerbs editing mode, you can left click and drag to select multiple polynerbs faces at once. This allows you to quickly make edits to large portions of your design. Left click and drag to select the vertices that make up the ropes of the crank's body. Select the Move tool in the Micro dialog and, while holding the Alt key to prevent snapping, move the vertices along the Y axis to create an indent. Use the Repair tool to patch the red faces. There are many more Polynerbs editing tools available in Inspire so continue to experiment and explore the full extent of Inspire's capabilities. Thank you for watching.